Hey, boys and girls, it's Miss Kramer. Here's our ladybug habitat. I just wanted to show it to you for a couple of minutes. There are lots and lots of ladybugs in there now. And I want you to look and see if you can find the, um, the youngest one. Where's the youngest one? There's a lot to see in there, huh? It's this one right here. I know that because he has no spots. So that's how they come out when they first come out. They have no spots. And then eventually they start crawling around. So this one is doing, he's older. He's doing fine. He's up here. A couple of them are up here at the top. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> so they first come out, they can't climb as well in the habitat. And then later on, they can climb all over just fine. So I just wanted to show you for a couple of minutes so you could see what's happening. Pretty much every pupa that's in the volcano has not emerged at this point. So I think they went into their pupa stage one day later. So we should be seeing them emerge today or tomorrow. And then I will release them because I think all animals should be living in a natural habitat. And I know we have aphids in our garden, so in our school garden, so the ladybugs will help us in eating all those bad bugs. So ladybugs are definitely uh, good bugs in the garden, what they call beneficial insects. So we'll just watch for a few minutes and then I'll Go back to sending you your passwords. So here's an older ladybug. He has his spots or her spots. And here's that new ladybug. Just came out, no spots. This one also is black at the bottom and this one's still tan on the bottom. And this is their pupa that they climbed, that this one climbed out of. Once it's empty, it starts to dry and, and get smaller. So I did read last night that the ladybugs pump blood into their wings. So that's one way that the, the wings um, get harder, stiffen and get harder. They have the outer wings, which is actually their exoskeleton. It's actually their skeleton on the outside of their body. So X means out. And there was a special name that I read about last night, and it was El Elytra. And that's the name of the hard our exoskeleton wings. And they have those inner wings, those little transparent wings that we saw in the other video that they were allowing to dry. So pushing out and allowing to dry. Those are the wings that they used to fly. I also read that ladybugs, when they feel threatened, will actually let out a, a drop, couple droplets of blood out of their knees. <laughs> and that keeps um, animals who want to eat them, keep them, keeps them away. I guess their blood smells bad. So it's one of the ways that they have as a self-defense. Their spots are also part of their self-defense. Um, in nature, animals that are brightly colored are known to be poisonous. So a lot of the poisonous frogs 
in the Amazon are brightly colored. You can look up that on, online with a parent. And that's one of the reasons that the ladybugs have um, their brightly colored spots. They're red or yellow or orange or even pink. And they actually are um, foul tasting. They don't taste good. And they're just a little bit poisonous to birds. So what I read was if the bird eats one ladybug, they get sick and they don't eat another ladybug. Interesting, huh? So there's a couple that still need to open. This one hasn't emerged yet. And all the ones in the volcano haven't emerged yet. Hard to tell. But that's what our ladybug habitat looks like today. Be good, be well.